Okay, I'm going to be making a simple bread. I'm going to mix it using the Albosi mixer. But I'm going to be using real time. So there's not going to be any edit or any pause to show you how it gets from this to dough. Okay, I'm going to move over to the mixer. This is using two cups of all purpose flour. So I'm going to start with one first. There's not going to be any pause or any edits. Real time. Now we're going to increase to speed two. I'm going to increase to speed 3. It shakes a bit, but it's okay. bit dry so I'm going to add a bit of water okay so I just added one tablespoon of water I'm going to start back you might need a bit more water we're going to check the dough. Yes, it needs maybe one more tablespoon of water. One tablespoon of water was added. I'm going to start again. This is speed 2. I'm going to increase to speed 3. Holding the mixer. down to two. Now it's a bit shaky. Okay. Because the dough is um, formed and the gluten is uh, developing. So it's a bit shaky. I don't know if you can see it. Let's 
it shaky, right? Okay. So that is the dough balls. Then I'm gonna turn it down to one and off. And then look. Okay, it's a uh, quite a dry um, dough. I'm just gonna let it proof and we're gonna bake it. But basically, you won't have any troubles um, netting your bread in this mixer. Maximum speed, just use up to three. No more than that, you're gonna spoil your mixer if you go any higher than that. I'll be explaining more about this mixer. Um, there's some things I noticed that I'm gonna add on. That's, that's gonna be a totally separate video. Okay, bye bye now. Thank you. After an hour, Lagi cantik Dan lagi kebun